Well, hey friends, it's Mandy with Sweetly Home, and I have been tagged in the homemaker tag, and I'm really excited to do this tag. Um, I was tagged, like how many times can I say that? <laughs> uh, I was tagged by Cook, Clean, and Repeat. I think you guys really like her channel. She is her channel is all about homemaking and she does lots of cleaning videos and she's got this such a sweet adorable southern accent. She is a total doll and I think you guys will really enjoy her. So I'm going to leave her channel linked down below and without further ado we're going to get into this tag because it's kind of long but it's super fun. Okay, so question number one is, have you ever had anyone say anything negative to you about staying at home or working from home? And no, I haven't. Um, I just don't have those kind of negative people in my life. Um, and if I do, they're not bold enough to speak that to me. So, and if they were, I would just say, see you later, alligator, because... I don't know, but really, in all honesty, I just am surrounded by a network of people who are just ultra supportive of um, women staying at home if that's what is the best choice for their family or working at home. For a while, I had um, a business, and it was like almost five years, and um, yeah, so no, I have, I have really supportive people in my life. Question number two, what is your favorite and least favorite part of staying at home? Um, so my favorite part is just the opportunity to be at home, to kind of be like master of my own schedule on really nasty winter days. I don't have to go anywhere. I just get to stay home tucked up in my house and um, do the things that I love to do. My least favorite part would be... Um, just not having a deadline for a lot of things so because I stay at home I can kind of mass make my own schedule um, but it's also really easy to push things off till the next day because it's not sometimes it just feels like if it doesn't get done who cares nobody's gonna know except my young children and my husband and they don't really care <laughs> um, and so the discipline to stay on top of like home maintenance and stuff isn't there. So I think that's kind of my least favorite thing. When I have a deadline like, oh, I have to be at this place at a certain time, I know I have to do X, Y, and Z to get there. And I feel like if I had an outside job, I would have to kind of maintain and make sure I was doing things. Does that make sense? I don't know. That's my least favorite. Okay, question number three, what is your favorite and least favorite chore? So favorite chore, laundry. I really love to do laundry. That doesn't mean I'm always like caught up with it like I should be, but I love it. There's just something to me about putting in dirty clothes and they come out clean and fresh and I just, I don't know, I've always, always loved laundry. Least favorite is my floors. I loathe 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 mopping vacuuming and sweeping hate it particularly mopping I think that is really hands down my least favorite job and I have honestly contemplated hiring somebody just to mop my floors because I hate it so much but the reality is I'm home I can do it but I hate it question number four what time do you wake up and go to bed so I go to bed late. Um, I am trying to be in bed for 10 30 um, but really I kind of go to bed at midnight. I am trying to be better about that but it's just it's a bad habit. I'm a night owl-ish. I'd probably even stay up later if I didn't have little children but I do. Um, and what time do I get up? The alarm is set for five o'clock in the morning and that's when my husband has to get up for work and I get him up um, some days I stay up and I just um, kind of have my quiet time with the Lord and I, you know, do some things in the morning, but I'm not a morning person, so it's difficult to just power through that tiredness, which is why I need to go to bed earlier. So, um, yeah. Question number five, do you put anything on in the background while you clean, work, cook, such as TV, radio, podcast, etc.? So that's when I watch YouTube is when I'm doing my housework, specifically while I am doing my dishes, um, I have to hand wash my dishes. So my routine is at four o'clock, I go into my kitchen, I start my dishes, I start dinner prep, and that's when I kind of watch YouTube. 
Um, when I'm doing something like mopping or doing a chore where I really need to, I can't just be stationary and kind of watch a screen, I do listen to a lot of podcasts. I have loads on my phone that I should go through a whole lot more, but definitely podcasts and YouTube. Question number six, do you get dressed most days or stay in PJs? So I never stay in my pajamas, but I don't get dressed like jeans. I'm wearing jeans and a nicer top today because I thought I was going out, but um, I'm not. So, but here it is. Um, I usually wear like yoga pants and a t-shirt. Like that is my mom uniform. And it was that way for a really long time um, because my kids are little and it made no sense to me to have it just didn't make sense to me to wear like a nicer top um, and uncomfortable jeans to just be at home with my babies and um, spit up and nursing and just all that jazz you just get messy and so my son will be four in January so I'm kind of really out of that messy phase so I'm feeling like now I can sort of kind of step up my game a little bit with my clothing choices but in all honesty my my comfort level is some nice like athletic like pants and a top. Question seven how often do you do your hair and makeup? This makes me laugh because every day? <laughs> um, truly like I, I pretty much get ready every single day and when I don't I have no energy and I'm super duper sluggish. So for me, getting ready each day is my me time. Um, I really enjoy the process of putting on makeup and even if nobody sees me but my kids and my husband, it just, it makes me feel good. Um, yeah, I, I have started using dry shampoo, um, so I don't wash my hair every single day, kind of every other day, um, but... I will get ready every day, every day. Because honestly, I'll, I'll tell you the other thing. I have really bad skin, like lots of scarring, redness, um, I have large pores. I mean, this is just gross, and nobody wants to see that. And extremely dark circles under my eyes. So I'm not one of these like really naturally beautiful women anyways. And so I've been caught with people coming to my door, and I haven't been ready, and I look a fright. So I get ready. Question eight, what is your trouble zone or area in your home that needs the most help? Who can I say every area? <laughs> no, um, paperwork, paperwork. And that is going to be part of my new year's resolution is to get a really good paper system in order. Um, we drowned in paper and we just don't have good systems for it. So that's, that's somewhere that I really need to kind of get on the ball with. Like we have this really nice command center that I've made for us and it's just drowning in paper. So all the paper, paper. Question nine, how often do you find yourself getting distracted? All the time, um, all the time. I think by nature I'm just kind of a really like distracted, bubble thought kind of person, like woo. Um, and so it takes a lot to stay on task. And that, again, and that leads, I think, back to my trouble zone or my least favorite thing about being at home is that there's just not the discipline to have to do stuff because I can push it off to the words the next day. Um, so, okay. so, yeah, I get distracted. And I almost just said, what was the question again? But I remembered Number 10, do you enjoy staying home or do you miss going to a job every day? I love being at home. It's my favorite thing in the world and I do not miss going to a job at all. At all. Um, at all. <laughs> I don't. I, lo I love, 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 love being home. Question 11, what is your never-ending chore? Okay. I feel like it's always picking up after my family. I'm in the process of training my children to pick up after themselves, but the worst area is our bathroom. We have a really tiny bathroom. I can literally touch both walls with my two hands and have slack in my arms because it is so small. And um, we have the one bathroom. I don't know if I said that. <laughs> we have one bathroom. 
and my family is ridiculous at not picking up after themselves in the bathroom. So there are clothes constantly. I actually took a picture one day because right beside the toilet were my husband's socks and my daughter's socks. It's like they both took them off in the same exact spot to go to the bathroom. It was weird. Um, at different times. Okay, whatever. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the bathroom. I feel like I clean it in the morning. I do the fly lady swish and swipe. I tidy it. I clean it. Get everything out. Clean up my husband's mess from when he got ready. And then throughout the day, you know, it just gets kind of messy. So I tidy it up again. And then bath time comes. And then the kids leave their clothes and their towels and the toys. And it's all wet. And so I tidy it up again. And then my husband comes and he showers. And sometimes he'll have a bath. And he'll leave out like Epsom salts. And their kids' toys are now out of the tub again. And there's towels. And they're all his clothes. And it's like never ending. And I'm the only person who cleans up the bathroom. I am trying to work on training my children though. That They're three and six, so they have a little bit of wiggle room, but seriously, drives me crazy. Never ending. Question 12, what is your favorite way to relax or have me time? So I think I have a few ways. Sometimes I just really need to completely veg and just surf Pinterest, surf Instagram. Um, and so actually when my kids go to bed, I take time and I just do that. Like I just decompress my mind a bit, enjoy some quiet, and just catch up on what is going on in the social media world. Um, I really enjoy watching movies. Um, I've been known to go to the theater by myself, um, and I really love to go shopping. I don't. I do like home decor shopping, um, and so to take like an hour a week or so just to go walk around a store, usually home good home sense home sense um and to just look at things be inspired and inevitably a couple things end up in my cart and that i feel like is a me time question 13 how often does your husband chip or significant on their chip in um funny question um I, he has a very willing heart uh always asks what he can do for me um but the man is so busy, and he works a really physical job. He doesn't get home till like 5.30 at night, often works weekends, and sometimes even works overtime. And he's got um, some really involved and committed hobbies that he's a part of. And I wouldn't even so much say it's hobbies. It's more like it almost feels like a second job. Um, so he is involved and chips in as much as possible. But the bulk of the housework and maintenance that I can do myself falls on me. Um, if there's really big things, like if a pipe needs fixed or things like that, he will take care of them, but for the most part, and he does like the lawn mowing, but pretty much I do everything else. <laughs> um, but he's always very willing if, if I ask him. Question 14, if you have kids, when do you find time to do chores? So I'm trying to be more disciplined about this um, and setting different times to actually do things. But in the morning, I have a morning routine and um, we're now a homeschooling family, so our schedule's flexible in that way. Um, I'm trying to get, after the new year, I think I'm going to really sync our routines in a whole lot better. But I usually do um, some morning chores and then we do school and have lunch um, and then we do a bit more school and then I do some things in the afternoon. I always do an evening routine um, but I just kind of work around the pockets of my day and with them. Question 15, how do you balance being a homemaker and creating YouTube content? Not very well, um, which is why I don't have a lot of content coming out regularly on my channel right now, especially since we started homeschooling. It has been several months of really trying to catch my footing as far as that's concerned. Now that my daughter's home, um, it's a whole different dynamic and having quiet to actually film is difficult. Like they're outside right now and I think they're going to come in at any point. Um, and so yeah, homemaking and my family always has to come first. Um, and so that priority is just always in line. And 
YouTube for me is a creative outlet. Um, it is my outlet to share memories, to bring you into my world, to, um, you know, share, really. Um, and so it's just, it's an outlet for me. Um, I guess you could call it a bit of somewhat me time, um, some creative stuff. <sighs> but yeah. Family always has to come first. This will never be, like, a job for me. Um, I'll never have, like, 100,000 subscribers and that kind of thing that I need to maintain. But uh, where it would feel like a job, um, it's just a fun space for me. So that said, it always has to come after family. Question 16, what is your favorite room in your home and why? And that's my, my kitchen. Um, I just love it. We, we remodeled our whole home. It was a whole home gut and renovation, unplanned. I'll go into that one day. Um, and so our kitchen, we had to kind of basically rebuild and all new cabinetry and stuff. So I got to design it. It was just pretty much the same layout as it had been before. But um, I got to choose like all the cabinets and the cupboards and cabinets and cupboards, drawers, <laughs> um, and just kind of the whole layout of it and the flooring and the paint color, which I painted white. Um, and so my kitchen's really bright and white because we have white cabinetry, um, a black floor and some black and white kind of countertops. And it just feels so clean and serene and peaceful and just bright like it's just uh, I love it I love it I love it and I love to create in my kitchen um, I just I think it's so fun to just be in there like making food for people I love it number 17 what is your least favorite room in your home and why and it's not technically a room but it's the garage um, that was one space that we didn't renovate, and it's tiny, like you can't even really fit a car in there anymore, because it was like built in the, our house was built in the 50s, and a car just isn't really going to fit in this garage. Um, it lacks organization. It's my husband's domain completely, and so it's just, it's a hot mess, and I dread going in there for any reason. Number 18, do you feel your home reflects your personal style? Why or why not? Yes, I do. Um, yes, I do. I Because we renovated, I really got to focus and make my home how I wanted it to look. It was all done like on a shoestring budget, so there's a ton of things that I would love to add to our home one day. But as we craft our space, like I really do feel like it reflects us. Um, this room I'm in right now is one room that I don't feel really reflects me. It's a dark pink color, and initially I was going to paint it something different, and I wish I had gone with that. So eventually I do want to paint in here and make it lighter and brighter because I do feel that it's kind of really heavy, the color, um, and dark, and a lot of people have told me that too who've come to my house. Um, it doesn't read very well on camera. It looks really light, but it's not. Um, and so, yeah, I, I want my home to be light and bright, but there's also really grounding elements. Like we decorate with like some black, like black knobs and furniture, um, furniture pieces, but there's lots of white and light. So it's just that kind of mix of like light and bright, but also really grounded. Question 19, what does your home smell like? Scentsy, y'all. Like, okay, so when I talked about having a business before, um, I was with Scentsy for almost five years. Did really great with it. Kind of miss it. Like, it's a really great company to work for. Um, but I am obsessed with Scentsy, and so I don't burn candles. I have wax warmers all over my house, and they're all Scentsy brand because um, it's the best. Lifetime guarantee. All handmade awesome stuff. Um, and so I've always got wax going. I've got three warmers in this room right now. <laughs> um, I like a combination of cinnamons and um, bakery scents, lots of bakery scents. But my all-time favorite scent, if you are a Scentsy lover, is called Farm Stand Pumpkin. And it is this my signature scent. If they ever get go away from this scent, I will cry because it is 
everything that I want my home to smell like. It smells like a country, like a little country shop that you go in, like that has decor and like nine million candles and it just reminds me of home so much. And so that is the scent that is like my signature scent, but it always smells like baking in my house. Okay, question 20. What is your strong point and weak spot when it comes to homemaking? So let's talk weak spot first. Weak spot is maintaining routines and pushing things off. Like I've mentioned that a million times, but that really is the weak area of my life. Um, just being undisciplined and unroutine. And so I'm trying to work on that a whole lot more in my life and I'm getting a little bit of traction. So that's really good. But that is just hands down my, my weak area. My strongest area of homemaking, I would say, would be my teachable spirit. Um, and what I mean by that is I am constantly and always wanting to learn about homemaking and always wanting to try and do better with it. Uh, I love to watch homemaking videos. I love to hear people talk about homemaking. I love to read about homemaking. I have like a whole Pinterest board on homemaking. Um, I love and never get tired of reading and hearing and participating in content that deals with homemaking things like grocery shopping and meal planning and caring for your home and routines and systems and family life and how to be a great homemaker, how to be a great mom. Um, I never, ever, ever tire of that kind of thing. It feeds my soul so much um, and I love it. So I don't know. Well, yeah, I think it would be just just being teachable um, and wanting to do things better and to share that with other people too. I think that's one reason why I like my channel. I don't know everything. I'm not even an expert at anything, but I love to share my journey along the way because I'm constantly learning and I want to share that with you and because I get good feedback from you guys. You guys have some of the best ideas on just everything. So I learn so much and I hope that I'm able to teach something to someone who may not be where I'm at in the journey, but I'm always learning from people who've gone further than I have. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, I think that's, I think that's it. I'm blessed and honored to be a homemaker. We have sacrificed big time for me to be home. I will say, um, this does has not and does not come easy. Um, when we, when I first got married, I moved to Canada. Um, I'm from the States, um, and my husband's Canadian, so moved here. Um, and I couldn't work here, and I couldn't work here for several years, and we knew that get, going, getting married. Um, and so it was difficult, like many wise. Um, there were often times where we really said if it hadn't been for his parents, like showing up randomly with groceries and inviting us over for dinner constantly and giving us like food for my husband to take to lunch and stuff, that we would probably have to go to the soup kitchen kind of thing. Um, we just, we didn't, I couldn't even afford to go to the dollar store. Um, and so we just lived really different and we lived really frugally and really tight. Um, and now my husband job, husband's job is really great, but it's a feast or famine kind of job and it's, um, contract work. So once the job is done and completed, he's unemployed until the n another job starts. And we've gone through significant times of layoff. Um, at one point it was an entire year. At one point, just last year, it was nine months. So, um, it's not always easy to stay at home, but we, in staying home, there's a sacrifice that comes with it, and we don't do things that a lot of other people that are our friends and like in our age bracket that are doing. We don't really do big vacations. We don't have um, a second vehicle. We do. It's 14 years old, and it's pretty much dead in the driveway. We do have a second vehicle, but it's not really working at the moment with a flat tire also. Um, and we just, we just live a little bit differently. I don't shop crazy. I wear drugstore stuff from the drugstore, like makeup and things like that so that we are able to make those sacrifices so that I can stay home and be with my children and create and make a home for my family. So 
Anyways, that is a little bit about my homemaking journey. I hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me a little bit more in this aspect of my life um, because it's a big one and it's pretty much who I am. So anyways, I am... I feel like a lot of people have done this tag, and I don't know who all has done it, so this is what I'm going to do. I am just going to leave this kind of open. If you want to participate, please let me know, because I really would love to come and check out your channel and to hear your answers, because like I said, I love this kind of stuff. I'll leave all the questions down below. Please let me know if you um, if you do this. This is for working at-home moms. Um, Working at home homemakers, because not everybody's a mom who stays home. I wasn't for a while. I'm a stay-at-home wife. Um, and great news. My kids just came in. I got through the whole thing. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.